Hi guys, welcome back to my channel one more time. Today I am doing an exciting kind of review for you guys. I am reviewing the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Master Crush Collection. I purchased the entire collection by myself and I did use her discount code so originally it was like 168 um, you do get free shipping I believe but if you use her discount code or like the code that she gives you Jack Attack you get I think about $20 off because you get it for $148 um, it's a really good deal you should definitely use the code if you are going to purchase this this is what her box looks like it's beautiful it's a beautiful box it's definitely a sturdy box it took me a while to learn how to open it it's really just simple. You grab it kind of like by the little... I was trying to open it some other way and it was like, I'm not... I don't know why I can't get this open. But like you just grab it and it opens like that. And then her entire brush collection comes in here. So I believe you get her entire like eyeshadow brushes and her entire face collection. Um, and then you get extra brushes. I think it's 11 extra brushes that come in here. And they all fit very nicely in this little box for you let me show you I have her entire brush collection so if you like have this laid out on a table you'll just open it and it'll lay flat on the table and you guys can see what I'm talking about but I have her entire collection in here guys whenever I got this I was so excited but um, I did watch her video over the brushes so I kind of got a gist on what all the brushes do but like I say in my video I do my own thing and I use the brushes for my own use if you guys would like to see how I get this makeup look and see my review on these brushes then just keep watching guys thank you you guys I have this huge pimple right here I know you guys can't tell like how big it is on camera the reason why I look like I just cried is because I did if y'all have not seen Austin's new video the one where he like goes to Africa and like does like the well things with what he or what he got what they got from um what they donated from the event that they had literally so beautiful that video opened your eyes like I was I literally cried the entire time that I was watching that video that's why my eyes look like that and also I just rubbed off my makeup I'm redoing this video I've tried recording it um which I probably said all this already it's fine. You know what? Life life is fine. Awesome. It made me realize that guess what, girl? You fall, get back up. There's people going through difficult times who are still smiling. Okay? Okay. I'm going to take the Tarte Concealer in Medium Tan Sand to um, just like carve out my eyebrows with this concealer because it's not too light. I've tried doing it before with like a lighter concealer. Let me tell you, it just looks really weird if you do it. Or sometimes, like, on my clients, I will put, just grab their foundation and, like, carve out their eyebrows with that. Um, I've noticed that if I use one that's too light, it'll just look a little too harsh for my liking. So I stray away from that and try to get something close to my um, skin tone. Okay, okay. I'm using the Jaclyn, or... I always say Jaclyn Hill. The JH43 brush. And what it looks like is just a flat like concealer brush. I love using these brushes to carve out the brow or like clean it up. Um, so I'm just going to go right under and clean it up. And then right on top and clean it up as well. That was so easy to do. And do you guys have, see how like sharp these lines are? I love it. One thing that I would say since I've used this brush before is just like clean it off. So I usually use like a wet um, wipe just because it's concealer. So getting this wet doesn't really make a difference. So I would just clean it off because you can feel like the tackiness of the time that you used it before but other than that like I love this brush. And I just primed the rest of my eyes with the same concealer. This is the brush that I use today. This is the JH08 brush, and it's just like a flat concealer brush. My favorite concealer brush is this one. This one is by It Cosmetics, um, and this one just has less bristles and is a little bit shorter. This one is a little bit longer. Can you guys tell, like, the bristles are a little longer? Um, and also, like, has more. Yeah, it definitely feels like 
like it has more bristles on it I'm not really too fond of this one just because I like the bristles a little shorter like I said the bristles are a little longer so it kind of feels weird to work with it but I think it's just all about getting used to it I know that I won't like like every single brush in this collection so you know what it's fine if I don't we're gonna move on like it's just hard for me to use like it doesn't feel comfortable and I feel like it kind of it kind of feels fat like I can't grab it right but I'm not hating on the brush it's just like one of not like it's not my favorite so I don't really like using this like shape underneath the eyes I like using more of a larger brush for underneath my eyes I feel like if I use this some people can do this like some people can like blend out concealer with this but I feel like that just takes forever so I don't really necessarily use it for that specific spot of my face but it did blend it out like at the end of the day girl it does its job like it blended out nicely so I'm gonna use the same brush and I'm just gonna set my lids with this I'll just be using a little bit of the airspun Cody airspun translucent face powder and for this video I'll actually be using a mixture of the Morphe times Jaclyn Hill this is one of the vault um, palettes this is the ring the alarm so it's kind of like the orangey red tones and I'll be using a few shades from here, but mostly I'll be using this shade and then just a little bit of this shade. So that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to put some transition shades. I'm going to try to use as many brushes as I can and incorporate as many brushes. I have used a few, so I've probably used half of the eyeshadow brushes that came. Like I said, I tried to film this video earlier. It just didn't work out. Time crunch. It did not work out. So I'll be using like this. This is all that I have left for the eyes. I'm just going to try to incorporate everything in this video, which I know is, feels very overwhelming, but I want to give you guys a full review over these brushes. And I will also be using the Jaclyn Hill um, palette. I'll be using some shades from here. Um, I won't go too in-depth in it just because I don't want this video to drag on for too long, so I'm not going to go too much in-depth with the colors that I'm with the shades that I'm using from the palettes I'll explain to you like what shade they are and I'll explain to you like what I'm doing I'm gonna go in with a mustard yellow and I'm gonna go in with this blending brush right here this is the JH30 brush and it's more of a blending brush and I'm just putting that in my crease and blending Honestly, I feel like with this eyeshadow brush, it is so effort. It like blends so effortlessly. Like you guys can't even tell like a harsh line there. It is so beautiful, and it kind of fits like right in the crease, and then blends everything up like where you want it and out. So I love that about this brush. I'm gonna go in with this brush. This is the JH36 brush, um, and I'm gonna go in with an orange shade. I believe and oops, that's a little too much I'm gonna put it right under the yellow like that blended that out so effortlessly I love that brush I'm going with of a brown orange and just start to deepen up that crease a little bit and for that sorry guys I'm using the JH33 brush this one's perfect for like the crease like that's so perfect if you just wanted like a crease color I am though like going in circles and blending it up I'm gonna use this brush this is the JH35 brush a lot of these brushes do look similar but I can tell you right now they're not similar they're all like you you can like one is pointier than the other one one has more bristles than the other one so I definitely feel like they're worth the investment different brushes even though they look very similar do different things for you one thing that I can say from this collection though is she has only one brush to like pack on the lid color which is this one this one's a JH41 all her other brushes are kind of like smaller blending brushes or more like precise brushes to like highlight your inner corner or it really like it gets like maybe if you want like an eyeliner like an eyeshadow eyeliner you could also do that 
but nothing really to pack on color except like I said this one this one works really good but that is one thing that I wish you had more options of but then again why would you want to make so like you know many of these like if you have one good one that's good for you um if you're like I like to pack on color so if I only have like one I sh one like this to constantly clean it so that's just my thought right now I'm using the JH35 to start bringing in incorporating more of a red tone in the crease and then also in the outer V and you guys like I'm packing on these colors and they're blending it's blending out so smoothly um I'm doing my eyeshadow like if I really would every single day I don't want to be too precise if I'm gonna like make a dramatic look I don't spend too much time on it I'm literally like pff, um and I know some artists and makeup artists don't do that they move very slowly they take their time but I on the other hand I like to move fast um, I like to not spend so much time on it just because you can spend so much time blending if you do not have the right brush why because you get stuck with harsh lines it just doesn't come out the way you want it to so like I said you can spend so much time if you have really nice brushes you don't have to spend as much time blending things out this this look oh I love this look when I'm going to use the JH41 to just pack on some bomb ass eyeshadow. We all get it because literally this is this is the eyeshadow that I'm using. It's called bomb ass. By the way, I am going to spritz a little bit of my setting spray on the brush. So I'm going to go in. Oh my gosh, you guys. I love this look. And I'm packing it like all over my lid yeah this is definitely a nice brush it's not too big it's not too small it's like the perfect size for me at least to fit on my eyelids Ooh, girl yes just using a lighter pinkier shade in the middle with my finger because I didn't find another brush um, like I said the collection didn't have another like flat brush that you could use so I'm just gonna use my finger and apply some of that do you guys see like the difference in that like there's such a difference between this and that like this kind of just looks a little funkier but whenever you add a little bit of dimension it definitely looks a lot better I use JH32 and I'm probably gonna go there's not I want to make the red fade into what I have going on in the crease if you guys can see or either like kind of deepen it up a little um, to kind of blend together because I feel like right now it just looks like red orange and then browns it just doesn't kind of mix I'm gonna use kind of like a maroon purple shade um, it's more on like the purple end but I'm gonna deepen up the outer V with this Bring it also like in here. Love this brush because it's so pointy. It fits right here. I know it's a blending brush, but it's pointy enough to fit right here and blend things out. Lately, I've been loving to just put mascara on. Okay guys, so now we're going to focus on the face and I'm not going to use a sponge today at all, so... Let's hope it goes well for me. I'm actually going to use the JH03 brush. Um, I usually love to use this NYX. Oh, no. This is the Sonia Kashuk number 130 brush. One of my favorite foundation brushes to use. I don't know why it blends my foundation out so well. Um, I do feel a difference. This one's more... This is smaller and it has more bristles so like the bristles are tighter this one definitely has a little bit of looser bristles but it also might be because I've used it so many times I'm using the L'Oreal new true match super blend makeup in warm I've been loving this um, foundation the thing is it's really olive undertone so it kind of looks green on me sometimes but usually I can even it out with like my concealer and stuff pat it in Okay, this is blending everything out so nicely, you guys. Some concealer on. Okay, we're going to use the JH07 brush to blend out my concealer. 
underneath the eyes. This feels so weird. I usually don't use this kind of brush to blend out my concealer, but you know what? We'll make it work today. I like this brush so far. So, there's that. I like it. That blended it out so nicely. Do you guys see that? Like, that looks so nice. I'm not used to doing my makeup with brushes, but girl, ever since I got these brushes, I'm like, I'm going to have to put them to use because... Homie spent money on these brushes, okay? Like, I do a lot of, like, the pouncing motions for this. Not really swiping. But it's still blending it out very nicely. It didn't leave any, like, streakiness. And this line right here, I was worried about this line. But honestly, like, the point of it, brush works so nicely to blend out really close to that line. Okay. I see you coming through. Oh. Um, I'm going to use the JH05 brush to just to set underneath my eyes. Just using some, um, I'm just using a banana powder to set underneath the eyes. I usually like to go right up against the nose. Okay, that looks really nice, guys. And then get right here. Honestly, for some reason, I don't know why I was so scared of using brushes for this stuff. Usually, I would use like a sponge, you know, for this. But I don't mind this right now. That looks so good. You I'm gonna set my face with the JH01 Big A powder brush, you guys. This is my go-to powder brush. This one is by Equate. This one's five bucks though. So I honestly, if it, this didn't come with a bundle, I'd be happy with this. But this is the Equate powder brush. Like I said, you can get it at Walmart. Five bucks. Did a video over this. Um, this is the JH. I do. Um, this is a Jaclyn Hill one. I do like that it has a longer um, handle. But I also really like that it's like fluffier. Like the bristles come out. It's just shaped different. So we're just gonna go set the entire face. I love this. I'm gonna use this brush to bronze up this is the jh02 brush and i'm just gonna go into some bronzing powder i think this is like the perfect bronzing brush do you guys see that mm. oh my gosh that looks so nice i love it oh it just blends everything out so nicely. I'm going to contour my face and for that I'm going to use the JH04 brush. This is like a perfect angled brush. Perfect. You know a lot of angled brushes are fluffy but like you can see how like this one's so confident. This one's so ready to go. Side. Some people might use this for blush but that's the beauty of makeup brushes, right? Ooh. It is a little too maybe like dense for contour like it adds a lot of product to where I would just go a little lighter it was probably my fault honestly she includes this brush right here which actually we're gonna use after this brush this is the JH06 brush this honestly has to be one of my favorite brushes from the collection I love it I'm actually gonna take some of the red that I use, the badass red, that kind of as a blush to incorporate everything. I'm not going to use too much though because, girl, you just want like a light to wash of this. Like, I feel like it just blends it out so nicely, you guys. That is so soft. I just love the angle of it. Like, it has a slight angle to it. It blends everything out so nicely. Now I'm going to use this brush right here. I haven't used this one, but I think this is the one where she uses to like really get like in her nose um, to like, you know, clean it up, clean up that contour and then also clean up this contour down here. So I'm going to use some of like a different banana powder and I'm just going to snatch this contour up. Ooh. Yep, did you guys see that? Did you guys see that magic right there? I'm actually going to contour my nose with a blending brush. It 
to get to. So I'm going to go in with my contouring shade. Snatch this nose up a little bit. Brush, whatever we need to clean up. I'm loving this brush. Honestly, second favorite brush in this collection. We're going to work on the lower lash line. So I'm going to go in with just a few shades. Um, I'm actually going to use this one now, the JH34 brush. I'm going to go in. Ooh, let's start with that mustard yellow. This yellow pretty, blended pretty low. The JH37 brush, which is more of a flat not really like a blending brush, but more of like a packing blending brush. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm so freaking annoying. And I'm going to go in with an orangey shade now. And I'm going to go right on top of the yellow. With the red. And I'm using the JH40 brush. Ooh. Yes. Okay, I like this for the lower lash line. And that was so easy. Maroon. It's like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like a purpley shade. And I'm going to just not drag this one as low and not drag it all the way in. I'm dragging it about halfway. Sorry, guys. I'm using the JH38 brush, which is just a tiny, tiny brush. This, this tiny brush, which is the JH38. For two brush literally so tiny I'm gonna use that to highlight the brow bone go in with a little bit in the inner corner and using this highlighter brush the JH09 brush we'll see how I like applying my highlight with this Which I usually also apply my highlight with a sponge. Okay, not too bad. I feel like the brush is doing a good job of applying. The only brush that I did not use in this entire collection was this little teeny brush right here, which is a JH39 brush. I feel like I would definitely use this brush. Two. Well, I feel like they're the same thing, kind of. I feel like... Mm. Okay, guys. So that is it for the finished look using all of the new and also kind of just revamped Morphe times Jaclyn Hill collab, y'all. This is a lot of brushes. So my final reviews on this. I think that you should totally invest your money on it. I know it's $168. If you use her code, I think it goes down to $148. But I feel like these are definitely worth the buy. I know that I would definitely use these. These seem like good brushes. And honestly, they all worked for me. So I think you should definitely invest in it, especially if you're starting out. You guys, you get everything that you need in one entire collection i can tell you right off the back i've probably spent as much money as i've spent on those brushes one time buying all of my brushes that i have because brush collections brushes are not cheap i got like four of these it cosmetics brushes for like 60 dollars um and it was just kind of like the face collection so her face collection comparing them to other brands i feel like her her collection is like the cheapest way to go which is the most beneficial i can honestly see that jacqueline is looking out for the best thing for her subscribers so i all her palettes that i've looked at this palette this jacqueline hill palette i've loved this about vault collection jacqueline hill palette i've loved that too like honestly everything that i've used and honestly i can sit here and tell you guys like Jacqueline sometimes she's just too much for me keeping all personal feelings aside she's like too much for me sometimes and honestly I'm like girl you is just a little too annoying for me today but like with all love like I love her you know best friends know you 
your parents annoy you, your family annoys you, but still, like, I fully stand behind this stuff. Like, these are beautiful brushes, and I definitely think that you should go out and spend your money on it. Now, if you can't afford the whole collection, I totally understand, but I do definitely feel like if you get the entire collection, it's worth your money. Um, so it's definitely up to you if you want just eyeshadows or just the face collection. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I love you guys. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye, guys.